So today I want to talk to you a bit about the new feature that we've recently added to Burp Suite Intruder to allow you to attack multiple hosts within the same attack configuration. So previously with Intruder, uh, to define your attack target, you had to specify a host name, a port, and whether or not you wanted to use HTTPS or not. Uh, now that was great if you wanted to attack a specific target with an attack configuration, but if you then wanted to do a bit more of a reconnaissance style approach and use the same configuration against multiple targets, it was quite a manual and laborious process to go through and uh, either duplicate the attack itself or the config and manually change the target configuration. So to remedy this, we've now allowed removed the target tab and replaced it with the target panel, which provides a template for you to automatically inject payloads into your target field uh, to dynamically change the target as your attack progresses. Uh, so we're going to jump into an example with Burp Suite uh, to show you exactly how this works. So um, here I'm running a version of Burp Suite Pro, which is 2021.12 on the early adopter channel. And I'm going to populate a attack configuration within Intruder using a uh, just a simple uh, request, get request to portswigglabs.net. And for those of you who don't know, this is quite a good way to populate a quick request within Intruder. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to be uh, enumerating subdomains of Portswigger Labs to try and find uh, any hidden access points that shouldn't be available to the public, like some kind of administrator or staff page. So uh, to do this, um, we can see that with this new target panel, we've now got an input field where we can specify a template. So I'm going to specify just a dummy X subdomain, and I'm going to wrap that X value with a payload, set of payload markers. Now, what this will allow me to do is to use a payload source to automatically provide values into the target tab. So the, the target will change throughout the course of this attack. So if I go to the payloads uh, tab, we're gonna have a, just one simple list payload because we're using a sniper attack type. I don't want another tab. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I'm going to select a short list of directories from the pre-made lists that we get given in Burp Street Professional. And finally, to help me find any interesting uh, responses, I'm going to use the grep match feature to search for uh, specific attributes of a login page. So, for example, you might expect the string's username or password to appear uh, in, those, um, in those responses. Uh, so we'll match on simple string, that's fine. Uh, so I think we're all ready to go. So I'm gonna start the attack. So as we're waiting for this attack to finish, um, some interesting new things about the res about the results table. So we've now got this target column. So if you have provided uh, payload markers within your target template, we will now automatically show you this column and it essentially shows you what the target was that we sent to for this payload. So for the access payload, we've automatically replaced the X that was previously on that target. Um, and we've now set issued this access, this just get request to the root of access.portswigglabs.net. Uh, so this attack is finished, so let's filter by our new columns, and we can actually see that the staff payload has hit some matches uh, with our username and password grep match um, strings. So if we have a look at the response of one of these other payloads, uh, we can see that it's just a generic kind of landing page. Uh, so if we render that, it gives us a bit more of an idea of what that looks like. So it's just a kind of landing page to say, hello, this is Portswigger Labs. But if we jump at the staff response, we can see that we're actually getting a login form. If we render, we can see that we can provide a username and password uh, and try to gain access. So this has been a successful subdomain uh, iteration attack to try and identify a, a hidden um, input access point uh, to gain access to the domain through uh, using uh, other methods. So from now, we could maybe try and brute force this form, or if you've been able to retrieve credentials in another way, you could use it to try and gain access. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I uh, hope you enjoy the feature.